times uh, at our job with guys with earbuds and not paying attention to what was going on around them and one of our guys got hit and he got hurt bad. Why did he get hit? Because he couldn't hear anything that was going on. He couldn't even hear the guy on the other side of the truck. Hey, look out, watch out, watch out. Didn't hear a word because he had earbuds in his ears. So he just goes to show guys, do the right thing. You know, I bought, abide by the company policies and rules. Because if you don't, and then you go to court and you have a court case and then you, all that's going to go against you, man. You got to you gotta do the right thing. You got to pay attention. You got to come to work prepared. You know what I mean? You can't have a lot of stuff on your mind. You can't be thinking about something else when you're backing up. And you got two helpers back there. You got to always make sure you see them guys where they are. Always keep them in your mirrors. Always have designated hand signals so you know what they mean when they give you a sign. Stop to the right, to the left, whatever it is, always understand what they're telling you. It's very, very important that you keep in touch with the guy that you work with. You see him in your mirrors at all times. Know where he's located because if you're backing up to a container, and you don't see him, I'm telling you right now, the first thing you do is stop the truck. Stop the truck. Get out, see where he is. I'll tell him, listen, I'm backing up. Make sure I see you and uh, go from there. But it's very important to have a visual on your helpers in the back because you know what? When I used to drive Packer and I had helpers on the back, and it was a car coming towards me. I told my two helpers, listen, if I uh, go like this, I beat the horn, that means there's a car coming in front of me. There's a car coming and he's about to go past the truck. I'm just warning you that there's a car coming. I told them this at the beginning of every day so they understood when they heard that beep. Pay attention, there's a car coming. Don't step out. So, that's what I did. Always, also, uh, Especially when you're doing rear loader, uh, always please lock in those containers. The old school trucks have locks, locks on either side. You make sure you lock that container in so when you raise it up with the cable, it's not going to jump out on you. So just be careful with that. There's a lot of stuff I can talk about. There's a lot of safety tips. And honestly, a lot of it is pretty much common knowledge. That, you know, you're looking out for you and the guy that you're working with. That's basically it. You got to cover each other's back. Because you're out there working together as a team. You know, you're not working against each other. Because that's not going to work. Years and years ago, when I worked uh, on a Packer, and you know, I was much younger, I just got into the business. Uh, I'll continue in a few seconds, be right back.
when I first got into the business, uh, I worked with another guy on a garbage truck. I had a Mac MRU Packer. It was a Ohio body. And the uh, lock bars were working on the back. Everything was good because you know me. I keep everything in order. Keep everything that. Uh, Nice and clean, like I cleaned my truck this morning. You see how nice and clean I put the armor on. But anyway, we backed up to an eight yarder, and uh, our sign to each other was clear when we. Uh,
Friday, it was light. You could go to three camps, pull out one, one bag in each can, pull it out, put the can back, and make a pile at the end of the street. So when I got there, we would just throw everything in. So we would call that pulling the street. I'd tell them, go ahead and pull, because it was Friday. And on Monday, you couldn't do that, but on a Friday, you could. That'd be one bag in each can. So I went to get the can on the driver's side. I dumped the can. I told him, go, go ahead and pull. So when I dumped the can on the driver's side, he was up the street. And I ran out on the passenger side and got hit by a car at 24 miles an hour, I was told later on. Uh, the guy hit me so hard. He set me up in the air. I came down, broke his windshield with my back, rolled off his hood, and banged my head on the curb and was knocked out. Uh, when I came to, my first question was, why is everybody 